Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to week 25 of the Marguerite Miller Challenge. We are almost halfway through. So for this one, I, yes, I have a Mounds Bar wrapper sitting there. You'll find out what that means in a minute. But it starts with a piece of map with ocean. And I have this map from AAA. This is from 2021. And look what's right there on the edge, the Atlantic Ocean. So I am going to go ahead and rip this down. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how much of the Atlantic Ocean we can fit on our page. I am have been a AAA member for many, many years, uh, decades, literally, and I get maps from them all the time. Let's go ahead and cut across here and I want the Atlantic as well. So we'll save that part of the roadmap for something else some other time. But I have the coastal beaches of New Jersey, Atlantic Ocean. Hang on, I think I want to take this off. I'm composing this page in my head. Okay, we'll set that aside because who knows when we might want alphabet somewhere. Atlantic Ocean. There we go. So let's go ahead and put those guys down. And yeah, that one is empty. Let me grab a new glue stick. I'm just going to throw that one away. And I thought I had an, yeah, I do. I have another big, this is pen and gear glue stick. It is the cheap stuff from the Dollar Tree. And I have been unsure how it would handle all of these pages, but it actually has been a pretty good glue stick. I've been uh, more impressed with it than I thought I would be. I figured my collages here really are temporary and they're only for me. They're not for sale. So it would be a good place to use up this glue stick. Well, I'm kind of liking it overall. Although I have only used it in, in here. I have not used it for anything that I am selling. Not yet. I'm not that sold on it. So let's go ahead and put down our piece of map with ocean. I was thrilled when I saw this and thought, oh, I have that. I do have a piece of a map with an ocean. There we go. I'm going to fold that over. Okay. Now, an herb or other fragrant plant, I have a stamp. But I'm going to wait to do the stamp till I do everything else because that's going to go on last. Something mechanical. I have a typewriter. I like the typewriter. And I think I'm going to need to get, you know what? No, I don't think I want that. Hang on a, a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just, sorry for my reach here. I am I just took a piece of paper and uh, covered it over a little bit so that I would have a plain background because I'm not going to be able to print or stamp on some of this stuff. Whereas this, you know, this will cover that up. So there we go. So this is my map with a piece of ocean, an herb I've got, but I'm going to wait on that. Something mechanical. Let's go ahead and put down this very cool typewriter. I think this came out of maybe Smithsonian Magazine or maybe the Saturday Evening Post. I don't know. I thought it was a cool picture and so I took it. It's an old typewriter. Pretty fancy one. Okay. I have a washi tape that I rarely use but I'm going to save that for my ending as well because the next big piece I have is this is the bonus is anything from a grocery store and when my son goes to the grocery store I usually ask him to get me something special something something good 
and he almost always brings me back a mouse bar because he knows they're my favorite. So I thought, all right, you know what? I'm going to just put in the mounds bar, and that will be from my grocery store. Okay. Do I want the whole thing? I don't think I need the whole package. I do like the frilly end, but I don't need all of this other stuff on it. Let's just take all that right off. Cut it down to what I want. In fact, I don't even need them that part. Dark chocolate and coconut. Nothing better. Nothing better. There we go. That's much more doable. So something from the grocery store. So I will be making a change to these Marguerite Miller challenges come week 27. Next week will be pretty much the same as it has been, but then I'm going to be making up a change. And we'll talk about that uh, next week. I'm not going to make too much of a deal of it right now. but Okay, so what herb or other fragrant plant do I want? Cardamom, bay leaf, mustard, rosemary... Vanilla. Vanilla is one of my favorite flavors. I know that, you know, having vanilla ice cream is really kind of, a lot of people say, really, that's what you want? And But I'll tell you, good vanilla, there's nothing better. All right, I want to go with the, let's go with Rustic Wilderness Green. I'll kind of go with the green idea here. Got blue and green going on. Okay, so we'll put vanilla up there. There's my Stampin' Off page. I had that out already because I thought, okay, be proactive, know what you're doing here. And then let's do let's do a bay leaf. I do my own sauce actually my husband makes sauces the spaghetti sauce and he taught me how to make it and so we both make it on occasion although I haven't made it in a while but putting a bay leaf in always is important so we'll put on two herbs there so that color was rustic wilderness distress oxide put that back away now, uh, what do I need yet? I Oh, my sticker or my rub-on. And I just, I have these old stickers. I've been trying to get rid of them. Obviously, that's pretty old. And let's put you right here by Atlantic City. We're going to think good thoughts about Atlantic City. And then um, a piece of washi tape I rarely use. I I love these keys, but I don't think I've used it but once. And you know the rule with washi. If you don't use it, you lose it. So let's go ahead and take the three keys that are part of the pattern. Oh, my glory fuzz. I need to clean out my place where I'm keeping all my scissors. And the key to the city. There we go. Piece of washi that I rarely use. My mounds bar doesn't want to stay down very well. Maybe we'll put you right down here. How about we do that? All right. And this is Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 25. All right. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click the like button to let YouTube know that you like them. And this is Cindy signing off for this week.